Yo, what's cracking YouTube? It's your boy Q, Q the Flu, Q the Influencer. You already know what time it is. You know how we coming. We're back up in this thing with another video. And we got a couple of topics to talk about today. But before we get into it, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that little like button on the side right there. Make sure you subscribe to the boy channel. And make sure you holler at your boy in the comments, man. Let me know what's cropping out here. Let me know what you think of the video. But without further ado, yo, let's get right into it. Yo, so, man. Look quick, you know, sneaker news for the day is Monday. You know, we, you know how we coming. Yo, it's it's been wild in the sneaker community, man. You know, we got resale prices going up like crazy. Bruh. We got, you know, Nike just shock dropping ID options. And we got a whole bunch of, you know, heat and fire coming on along the way. First things first, man. Let's go ahead and get into, you know, the first topic of the day, which will happen to be the ridiculousness of like yo former the former duds you know what i'm saying <laughs> former you know sneakers that was supposed to have hype you know what i'm saying that you know wasn't reselling but are now like just going crazy out here let's start with these damn trophy room fives yo so when those shits came out of course they sold out you know trophy room they had a little bit of hype back in the day uh when marcus jordan first started putting out those gray colorways you know for the shop you know what I'm saying? It was definitely dope. You know what I'm saying? You had the 17s. You know what I'm saying? You had, you know, the, um, what else they do? They, they had a couple of 23s out there. You know what I'm saying? The people were really hyped behind it because, you know, Jordan son, you know, some special, you know, exclusive shop in Orlando. But then the hype kind of died down a little bit, man. But, you know, leave it to, you know, Marcus Jordan to go back in the lab. You know, they went on ahead. They had a special project out. And they released these dope, you know, colorways of the fives and that ice blue colorway, which was limited to, I think, about 5,000 pairs. Um, and then you had that, you know, friends and family super exclusive all red pair, which, you know, if I could have had a pair, that was definitely the pair for me. You know what I'm saying? Um, but those things, you know, he, you know, they had a little nice, a little better little campaign with those kind of seeding them out to influencers and things of that nature. You know, John Man Boston definitely got both of them joints. You know, it was real cool, but, you know, we had, had, you know, coming off the Travis Scott's, you know, I wasn't really expecting that colorway to really go that, that crazy. And it didn't, you know what I'm saying? Resale prices around that time were about like $600. But now, boy, you go check them shits now. Like, when the hell did them shits screwed up to two, three thousand dollars $3,000, man, for a Jordan 5, yo? Crazy. Going right on into another Jordan 5. You know what I'm saying? The Wings Jordan 5. Now, I, now you know, your boy Q the Flu definitely did a video on those. I'll put the link somewhere in the description. I'm from Chicago. I knew what it was about months before, you know, it was ever even revealed what it was about with Lil Black Pearl and all that. I had to have it, and I did, and I got it. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people hated on that shoe, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people hated on that shoe. But if you look at it now... For the small fee game, man, and even my size done shot up a little bit, you're looking at six, seven, eight hundred dollars for, you know, the small sizes in that shoe, which is crazy because everybody was, oh, how the hell am I going to wear it? so many colors? Yada, Boy, yada, if you don't get Yeah, bullshit, because now them shits are like nine hundred dollars, and that's ridiculous because just that, that shoe came out less than a year ago, like a year ago. Nobody cared about it. You know what I'm saying? So... I think we coming around a time where now that the Virgil hype and the collaboration hype then kind of subsided a little bit, kind of died down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Now it's time for people to kind of get back to their roots and go get those Jordans, man. You know, the, the exclusive Jordans, man. Before all this Virgil, Sakai, you know, Jerry Lorenzo, before all the hype of that, remember it was all about the Jays. Still in the meeting. <laughs> Strong shot to Marcus Jordan, trophy room. Thank you so much. These so fly. Still in the meeting. You know it's all about Jordan. And the exclusive J's, you know, that were designed differently that you couldn't get from anywhere else. And I think that what you're seeing in the resale prices going up for some of these Jordans, it's because we've gotten back to a point where people are kind of tired of collab. Let's go back and get that fire, that heat, you know what I'm saying, from the Jordan, the old faithful. And you know what I'm saying, make those things covered again, man. And I think that's dope to see. And I think you're going to see more of that coming up in the future, man. So, you know, y'all let me know in the comment box how y'all feel about, you know, 
these regular Jordan, these kind of you know collab exclusive Jordans coming back into prominence and the resale price is kicking up like that, man. I love to hear y'all thoughts in that comment section. Next up. Let's talk about the Nike ID. So today, Nike Shot dropped us the Levi Nike ID options. More options than you've had on a Nike ID in so long. And they were all fucking fire, man. Yo, them shit sold out so fast. I would've loved to get my hands on, you know, the, the Nike, the, the Air Force One High. You know what I'm saying? For everybody that missed out on the Jordan 4s and the both collabs that came out these last couple of years, this is definitely the cost effective and exclusive option for you. And they did not disappoint. That shit was fire, man. You know what I'm saying? Anywhere between 150, 130 to 150 for, you know, a customized Levi's option. Yo, them shits was dope, man. And that's just letting you know, man, it's Nike B by you. I told y'all what was coming with that. You know what I'm saying? Collabs galore. That's just how they gonna do it now. You know what I'm saying? And I think they're doing a really good job. So next week we got those cactus plant flea market shits coming. And you know the vibes on that. You know how they coming. You know what I'm saying? So be on the lookout for these Nike collabs, man. You know, they sold out quick, man. Who made pairs out here? Let me know, man. I wanna see them, man. You know what I'm saying? Hit your boy up on IG. I repost your pictures, you know, the pairs y'all made. You know what I'm saying? I wanna see the pairs y'all made, man. But that was a really, really dope move. Expect more of that to come next week with the cactus plant. Definitely gonna be a movie. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Now, you know, last but not least, you know what I'm saying? We got a couple of, you know, sneakers, you know, images that we definitely saw on the way. You know, we just come off the, you know, the weekend of these damn, you know, women's black toe ones that, you know, <laughs> resell and just the ridiculousness around that release is just crazy, man. Like, I just can't believe it. It's the same damn shoe. I put a video on the video. Like, it's the same damn shoe. We really went crazy over that sinker community. Yo, we, some, we gotta cut the malarkey. Something gotta stop. You know what I'm saying? Why are these so much? Somebody please let me know. I don't know. Cause it's the same damn shoe. That satin ain't even really satin, yo. Shout out to all the ladies out there that actually got their pairs. I was rooting for you. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. How dare you? You know what I'm saying? I really was, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, these dudes gonna be the, you know, gonna, gonna nig, you know, and it, it's just ridiculous, yo. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. Y'all dudes ain't, ain't, ain't shit, you know what I'm saying? You know, we got images of these new Kyrie things. Yo, them shits are fire, you know what I'm saying? I think that's a cop, you know what I'm saying? These, the last model was, eh. But that concept blew one, that, that one was all right. But these new Kyries, they looking like they are gonna be on something, man. I'm excited to see those, man. Yeah, so we got new images of, you know, the Levi's, well, a mock image of the Levi's 6. You know, since we talking about Levi today, I'm excited for those. Those are gonna be killer. Can't wait, you know what I'm saying? But I need to see, you know, those official pics of those, but you know, so far so good. I think Pharrell might be making a resurgence, man. The eight day, the Human Racer, you know, kind of series, man. You know, they kind of died out. You know, Adidas pimped them shits out. You know what I'm saying? Too many colorways, too fast, too expensive. You know, that's never a good formula for any sneaker these days. And you know, the hype on those kind of died out. But with these four new colorways, man, I think he might have something, yo. That highlighter, that pink and that black. I might have to do that. I might have to do that, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about these, yo. Probably definitely, a hot, the Vogue colorway definitely gotta be a cop for me. I gotta do it, you know what I'm saying? But y'all let me know how y'all feel about them. But for real, keep this up, for sure. Then we got, you know what I'm saying, you know, a few images of these NYX Jordan 3s. Those are pretty fire. I'm not a, you know, I'm a Chicago guy, but you know, for a retro three, if you're gonna do a retro three in a new colorway, Keep the gray elephant print, put the colors around it, and that's almost sure to be a winner. They did a real good job on those. Shout out to you, Jordan Brand. Good job. Those Kobe Proto shits, yeah, we're not gonna spend too much time on those. Nobody cares about Kobe Fours. Trash. Get them out of here. Man, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Get all the way the fuck out of here. Get all the way the fuck out of here. Man, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Get all the way the fuck out of here. Get all the way the fuck out of here. Man, bullshit. You can make me with the bullshit.
whole shit. Get the fuck out of here. Like, that's it. But yo, that's it. That's what I got to talk about today, man. Of course, it's your boy Q the Flu, Q the Influencer. You already know how we rocking. Thank you for rocking with me. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're a thousand away from the giveaway go, y'all. Gang, 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 gang. <laughs> yeah. The Chicago.